Hi, so I want to talk to you about this DeLonghi, and it is a 15 bar espresso and cappuccino maker. It comes in a nice box, gift ready. Instructions come with it, so you'll see in a manual right on top. Like the warranty paper then you have to get started I suggest reading um, the instructions manual thoroughly before starting so you know what to expect it has a welcome espresso drinks so you have different kinds of drinks that you can make it'll have important safeguards what you get what comes in the box And it tells you step by step on how to do it, which is really nice because I am a step by step person and I like to see pictures, which is great. So this will go through explaining everything on here. And like I said, I just suggest that, um, that you read thoroughly through it so there's no mess up. Okay, so that's it for that one. Then you have over here. information. It's a lot to read, but it, it'll probably be well worth it in the end because I have no idea on how to use an espresso maker. I've never used one except for at the grocery store or at the, um, like a gas station or something like that, a little cafe or something. So I'm just kind of going through this so you can see what to expect as well. When you get it, you have a limited warranty, warranty on it, instructions, it looks like there's it's in another language as well so that was it for the English part so there you go on that now let's get started okay y'all so I'm gonna show you a little bit more about the machine I can't really get too long into the video because I don't want to bore you but um anyway so when you're gonna fill this up you either can take it off and fill it up or you can open the lid and pour your water in I like to use my bottle, my bottle water, so I will take this off. It slides off like so, and that's what that looks like. Now, when you fill it, you do not want to go past the max line. There is a max line right here. Do not go past that. Okay, so I have my water. I didn't fill it up all the way, but maybe a little bit past halfway. And you're going to take it, and you're going to put it straight up and down and slide it down like so, and then it'll click. Make sure it clicks. You want to make sure it's on there all the way. I just kind of give it a little jiggle just to make sure. Again, you can open it up and put the water at the top if you wish. What I like also about this is got a um, cup warmer on top so you can put your cups. Now, I don't have any espresso cups. <laughs> I actually gave mine away, um, but uh, I'm going to have to use this little bowl for it. I just didn't think I was going to use my espresso cups and get an espresso machine. But um, I'm liking the way this looks, and I like the way it's compact. I mean, it sits right here, because you can see we have other other things on our counter. I don't want to show you all over the place, because it's a mess right now, because the holidays. But um, we do have stuff on our counter, so this really is awesome, because it is compact, and it um, doesn't take up a whole lot of a space on your counter. You do not get the coffee pods. Um, you have to buy your own. I bought some on Amazon, and um, you can go to the store or get them on Amazon, or, or, or a, a, any retail store most likely but they look like this the ones I got okay so um, and it does not come with a frother I actually bought this myself because you'll have this part over here to do the um, the lattes I think it is the froth for the frothing and it does come with um, a descaler which you need to do um, to keep your machine clean and then you have your filter holders and you got two other ones now you have three here because it's going to tell you on the back like that must be like two cups so if you want to do two cups over here that one P which is inside here and then this one's 
I call it a P, it's more like a music note, but they're two, it, it's a signify, um, signaling cup. So you have one cup, two cups, because over here, let's see where to go. Yeah, there it goes. It'll tell you right here. Place the coffee filter, P or Q, in the filter, da da da, da. So it'll ring, you can you go read it, and I'll tell you step by step. I've kind of outlined a little bit how to make espresso coffee. How to make cappuccino. Gives you an explanation of your lights. Operation, expl explanation of lights right there. If you have any issues, you'd always try for troubleshooting first. And since I have the ESE pod for the espresso, it'll tell me brewing espresso using the ESE pod. So um, it's showing me right here exactly what to do, which I really like. So I'm a step-by-step -step person. So just do that. Okay, I've already put this on, but when you put it on, you want to turn it over to here. Make sure you have it up inside there, and when you turn this way, you probably want to hold the top because you want to make sure it's, it's it gets snug. You want to make sure it's in there all the way. So just hold your hand up here, and then hold and then pull this to the right. Your main switch is on the side, so after you plug it in, get your water in there. Go ahead and push that button. These will light up one cup or two cup. The machine is warming up. When the lights stop blinking, the machine is almost ready for use. And they are not blinking anymore, so that means it's ready for use. Turn your dial down so they're a little, oops, a little steam will go. And then you turn it back up, and your machine is ready to go. And there you have a cup of espresso, or in my case right now, a little bowl of espresso because I don't have an espresso cup. But that's okay, this is still working. Now, if you have the small espresso cups, then you can, and you push the, uh, the two cup, then you'll be, you know, you've seen how it comes out on each side. So that way you can take and put your cups side by side right on the, on the thing right there on the platform, and that'll fill both cups. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate on the uh, latte part of it, brewing cappuccino or latte. Now I've got my frother, and you want to go ahead and you want to hit the steam button, and then you want to put this under here and turn it and turn that down. Be sure the frother is, is you merge the milk, but don't go past this little highlighted area right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got there. Then we want to turn that down. Okay. So it's foaming. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so I got that done and it's foaming up. Now I've already got my espresso coffee and I've got it, of course, in the bowl, but I'm going to put it into this cup right here. It's a bigger cup. And then, now it's not as hot as it was before. But then you can go ahead and make sure you just put a bowl under that or something so it's not going to leak. And then you want to go ahead and just um, pour the milk over the espresso, like so. And then you can enjoy a nice cup of cappuccino or latte. And I've got my cup. Like I said, it's not an espresso cup, but it's a more of a latte cup. And see the foam on top? That's nice. You can see that. Looks good. If you can see, the coffee goes about right here and the rest of it's foam. Now this is a doubled wall glass. That's why you see it kind of shaped, done in a shapely design. Well, so that about does it. Um, now, oh yeah, there's one more thing. If you see these blinking, do not start your next cup of coffee because that means that the boiler needs to um, cool down. The machine needs to cool down, so you do not start it if those are blinking um, after you've made a cup of um, coffee. Let them just stop blinking, and then it'll be ready to go again. When you're done, all you gotta do is uh, now, you, like I said, you want to use two hands. Finally, got my tripod, so I can use both hands. So when you're done. You're going to need to undo this here, so hold up here and this right here, 
and then take that out and you can get rid of your um, filter and you can remove this here. This is a little tricky. It's kind of hard to get out, but after a while, after a couple tries, it'll be a little bit easier. And then you have your measuring spoon that comes with it, a couple different filters, and the frother does not come with it, just a descaler. And the machine is lovely. I love the way it, um, the way it is. I'm going to turn it off right now because I'm not going to be using it. And then you can clean this. You have your water back here. So stainless steel it goes nicely with our stainless steel um, appliances. And you have your coffee warmer on top. It is warm. It's not hot. So that's really nice because you can, if you have friends over, you can put a couple um, you know, cups up there. Okay, folks, there you go. And thanks for listening.